Doing data science doesn't need to be hard. Let's talk about three habits you need to make it easy and be a great data scientist. For years now, these habits have allowed me to secure multiple job offers and promotions. I'm Saman Ve, a data scientist living in Sydney, Australia. The first habit you need to be a great data scientist is asking the right questions. Now, what do I mean by that? The goal of data science is to solve business problems using data. Globally speaking, there are countless industries that use data science to solve business problems, such as retail, tech industry, healthcare, finance, automotive industry, and space. The list goes on and on. And within each of these industries, there's tons and tons of problems to solve. The role of a data scientist is to learn everything they can in the business that they're in. And in order to understand the business, you need to be an expert in asking the right types of questions. Now I can understand if what I'm saying sounds a little bit vague and confusing. So how about I use an example to get my point across. Let's assume that you as a viewer have been hired by Facebook as a data scientist. You've been told that in the last two years, hate speech has become quite common on the Facebook platform. Your job is to automatically flag these comments and post for review. That's because they violate the code of conduct of Facebook. Now you've never worked for a social media company before, but you use Facebook on a daily basis, which means that you've got some knowledge as to what Facebook as a platform is like. Now understanding the problem is where asking the right questions comes in. In this case, some of the questions you can ask is what does hate speech look like? How often does it happen? Does hate speech happen only in comments and posts? What about photos? Does it happen more in one country versus another? What type of hate speech is more common? Is it political, cultural, or religious hate speech? Should we use supervised or unsupervised learning? The answer to each of these questions is either a data analysis, or a chat to a relevant stakeholder. Let's take the question, what does hate speech look like? You could start off by asking one of your colleagues at Facebook whether research has been done in this topic before you joined the company. Then you could look at what other social media platforms have done to combat hate speech through searching for papers or maybe even reaching out to them personally. And finally, you could even search up the vocabulary of hate speech and run your own data analysis on a sample of 1 million comments or post. The possibilities are literally endless. So from this example, I hope you understand that asking the right questions is your gateway to understanding the business better and the problem at hand. And it really requires you to get into the right headspace. This type of headspace is exactly what you need when you're in data science interviews. And if you're keen to learn a little bit more about those, then be sure to check out the video I did about acing your data science interview. In this case, the interview could easily give you this scenario about flagging hate speech and ask you what approaches would you take to dig into the problem and to formulate a solution. The best way to develop the crucial habits of asking the right type of questions lies in doing lots of exploratory data analysis and doing a brainstorm of basic questions that you would ask when faced with toy problems on a Kaggle challenge. The best thing about Kaggle challenges is that often they're a real life example of data science applications. So it gives you lots of opportunities to practice what type of questions to ask. And there's always Kaggle forums that you can double check your answers with. And this is also where being curious really helps. If you're enjoying the video so far, then consider subscribing. I make weekly videos about demystifying AI. The second habit you need to be a great data scientist is great storytelling. Your ability and habit to tell great stories consistently will set you apart from the rest, especially when it comes to securing job opportunities and promotions. So why is storytelling so important? A big part of a data scientist's job is to convince stakeholders that a data-driven solution will lead to a positive outcome. Let's say that you're at a retail company that's looking to segment customers in order to better understand their shopping behavior. It's your job as a data scientist to figure out whether a machine learning approach of customer segmentation would be more effective than a manual segmentation using transaction spend and the frequency of the transaction. If the machine learning approach is more effective, then it's your job to convince the stakeholder 
to follow your approach. This involves telling an effective story around the outcome that your approach will provide. Because often stakeholders won't be as technical as you. So they're definitely not gonna care what algorithms you use. So it's up to you to be creative in translating those technical details simply and effectively. A great storyteller always knows what appeals to the audience and they cater the story according to them. This means knowing what your stakeholder wants out of the solution and what their motivation is. Many times different teams involved in making the solution have different goals in mind. For example, the data science team might want to use a fancy algorithm to formulate a solution to a given problem because they are focused more on learning and doing something something interesting. But the stakeholders that you're preparing the solution for might have to explain what's going on to their superiors. So in their best interest, it's better if the data scientists use a simpler machine learning algorithm, which is not a black box model. So in this case, the data scientists and the stakeholders need to work closely together to come up with an approach that they both agree on. Being a great storyteller is much more than just public speaking. It's about knowing your audience, figuring out what appeals to them and what their hidden motivations are. A great way to practice your storytelling skills is to be a creator. Whether it means writing a great blog post, creating YouTube videos, or presenting a Kaggle solution in a well-written Jupyter notebook. Mastering this ability will help you see the big picture when it comes to designing data science solutions. The final habit you need to be a great data scientist is cultivating a habit of reading. By reading, I don't just mean machine learning papers. I mean reading books, articles, and magazines about topics that you're interested in. Try to read as broadly as you can. Data science is quite an in-depth field. It's very tempting to go deep and read only data science related books and articles. But I've found that you need a lot of creativity and curiosity to succeed in this field. And it's only by diversifying the types of topics you read about that you'll be able to think creatively. This means reading books about religion, technology, politics, philosophy. Try to really follow where your interest takes you. This type of diverse reading is really what sets you apart as a data scientist. It'll allow you to be more curious and ask the right type of questions. And reading also has the side benefit of making you a better communicator, a crucial skill when it comes to succeeding as a data scientist. And another side benefit is that you'll never be boring at a dinner party. If you're into reading, then add me on Goodreads. It's a great platform to share the books that we're reading. If you want to know more about what I do daily as a data scientist, then be sure to check out this video. That's it for today. I'll see you next time.